Hello bakers and welcome to Upside Down. Today we are going to be learning how to create more realistic leaves inside Unreal 4. This is going to be the first part of the two tutorials for creating leaves. In this tutorial we are going to make first that the leaf, which is created just from a single plane, is going to have a different texture on the top and on the bottom. In the next part we are going to set all the rest of the textures to make that leaf look more realistic. Now without further ado, let's roll the intro. So where do we start creating our two-sided leaf? Uh, I already created a mesh over here that is uh, just a simple plane. I'm just going to drag it uh, into our scene and we're gonna use this mesh for uh, the leaf. So it's a very simple one-sided uh, plane. There is nothing special about it. Uh, used to just completely uh, normal UBW map. And we are going to create a material. I'm just going to name this leaf mat. And now we can start building uh, the material for the leaf. Before doing anything, I would like to first explain you a little bit what exactly we are going to do and especially uh, put a more stress on the special node that we are going to use today to create this material. The node that we're going to use is called two-sided sign. So two-sided sign. And I would like to tell you what exactly it does before we jump into doing anything else. So uh, let's take just uh, two different colors and we are going to do, let's say this one will be bluish and a little bit reddish. And after that, we're gonna lose a lerp node to combine those two colors. So A is going to be our blue and B is going to be the red one. And the lerp is going to go into our base color. So we are going to use the two-sided sign for our alpha. But if I just plug it as it is, uh, you will see now that uh, if we assign this material to our plane, we won't get absolutely anything from underneath. So there are a few things that uh, we need to do. First thing is that uh, for our sign, we should use not only the sign node, let me just make this a little bit smaller, but as well, we should use before that saturate. Now we can plug it into the alpha and let's apply it one more time. You will see that there is not much of a change and that's because we need to come to our material settings. This is when you click somewhere in the empty field and here in our material parameters, we will have the option for this to be two-sided. So we need to check out that one. So the setup that we have uh, created uh, the possibility for us to use both sides of our plane. Uh, and if we don't have our two side sign and we just have, let's say our blue color over here, you will get uh, both sides with exactly the same color. So now that we understood what exactly the two sided sign does, let's set up the rest of the material. So I'm going to remove this one and then we are just going to drag the two textures over here. Uh, one more thing that uh, I wanted to mention is that uh, you will be able to find the textures uh, that I will use in this tutorial and as well the mesh down below. So check in the description and get all the materials so that you can follow along. We have uh, the texture for the leaf underneath on one of the slots and for the other one we are going to have the texture above and now we need to do pretty much the same but we just need to use the alpha as well. So we can drag from the alpha, I'm just going to copy paste our lerp before that and just get the alpha. Remember to set it up the same way. So we take the alpha and then we do the same thing with the sign. And now we need to change so that the material actually has the option for having opacity. So here from the blending modes, we are going to choose masked. And then this will go into our mask. And now you can see that uh, everything is being cut out. So I'm just going to apply, save it. And we have the top of the leaf which is from the top side and then we have a different material from underneath. 
Now, if we would like to go even deeper into setting up this material and doing uh, more things so that uh, it looks even more realistic, we will need to create roughness and as well, we will need to create normal map and of course, a subsurface scatter map. Subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss my next tutorial where we are going to create the roughness maps and as well the subsurface. Thank you for joining me in today's video. I hope that it was useful for you and see you next time.